In just a few years, renewable energy will provide a large part of the electricity supply. But the solar irradiation in the wind can change quickly. In order to avoid fluctuations in the grid, conventional power plants provide a balance. Their use, however, will be reduced continuously, which raises the following questions. What kind of energy storage does the country need? How much storage does the country need? And how will it be applied most effectively? Within a range of a few hours, battery storage can efficiently balance power fluctuations. However, the Fraunhofer IEE assumes that electrochemical storage will primarily be used in the mobility sector. Furthermore, the Fraunhofer IEE is researching new process engineering solutions for biogas production. A new plant at the test site in Bad Hersfeld will allow a dynamical adjustment of the biogas production according to the current electricity demand in the future. Using a separator, the adjustable biogas plant segregates the substrate into a liquid and a solid phase. The liquid phase is pumped into a reactor. Methane can be produced after just three hours. The biogas production can thereby be tailored to the demand. An electrolyzer with a rectifier is located next to the adjustable biogas plant. The rectifier can transform excess green electricity into direct current. And the electrolysis splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. This is the vision. In direct proximity to a biogas plant, an electrolysis plant produces pure hydrogen. In a special reactor, the hydrogen reacts directly with the biogas. The entire carbon dioxide contained in the biogas is thereby reduced to methane. The resulting gas can be fed into the natural gas grid. This grid infrastructure provides long-term energy storage. The advantage of this technology is simple. The carbon dioxide does not have to be separated from the biogas before reacting with the hydrogen. So this technology is economic to use even in smaller plants. In another project, the Fraunhofer IEE investigates the use of an innovative pumped hydro concept for storing large amounts of electrical energy. In the context of the Stensi project, a hollow concrete sphere with a diameter of around three meters was tugged out onto Lake Constance and lowered to the ground at a depth of 100 meters. Such an offshore pump storage plant uses the water column above it as the upper storage reservoir. The hollow body of the sphere creates the lower reservoir. The water is pumped out of the sphere using electric energy. At times of electricity demand, water flows back into the sphere, driving a generator. Further tests of larger spheres at deeper ocean sites should be the next steps. The new offshore pump storage solution that we are developing in the context of the Stand Sea project enables us to provide huge storage capacities offshore, near the, shore, near the coast and also in deep water, uh, uh, even in areas where we have high population densities and in that context um, offers a new uh, option to store large amounts of energy in the future energy system. The investigations of the Fraunhofer IEE show that adjustable biogas plants, in combination with power to gas, 
and innovative offshore pump storage are efficient storage units for renewable energy. Together they can balance the fluctuating solar irradiation and rapidly changing wind, not only for a short amount of time, but mid and long term as well, and thereby help to secure our supply of energy.